Welcome back. Uh, some would think that when we're on commercial and only the Facebook audience can hear us, we're having fun. For those of you who aren't tuning into Facebook during the commercials, I can assure you, we are not having fun. <laughs> it's probably funnier than the show. My cousin Andre is tuned in. Paulina's is tuned in. Janet's out there. We had George Santos on the other day. Whoop, whoop. Okay. I have... Well, how much time is left in the show, Jess, please? About seven minutes. Okay. Have, uh, I have seven minutes to amaze and amuse you. To make the end of this show, I say it all the time, a Technicolor dream coat of entertainment. And I'm going to do everything in my power to make you laugh, cry, and um, I'm even using this new method of AMSR to calm people down. ASMR. Anyway. Uh, Jess and Nico have been uh, watching me perform for months now. Um, neither one of them has really any respect for my capabilities, but they continue to uh, make me look good on TV. Nico, I would like a split screen between myself and Captain Morgan and you and Jess right now. Watch this. Watch the magic of television. Split screen. No. No. All right. Okay. Then don't watch the magic of television. Um, anyhow, my crew is over. There they are. Okay, good. I like when you put me in the smaller box because it's slimming. You know what I'm saying? Like I look thinner when I'm crunched into this thin box. So usually in the last segment of the show, as many of you, my friends out there know, we do the WTF, what the facts. And... Um, during the show, I just go crazy. I drink alcohol and I say all kinds of stuff. Some of it isn't true. Some of it I make up. I couch it all under satire and rhetoric, which is allowed. So it's almost like a comedy show. But <laughs> I don't know if people are with me or laughing with me or laughing at me. But apparently they're laughing because people are telling me. Nick Caparici, my buddy. Um, says he feels very calm. You see, people are liking the AMSR. And uh, let me tell you, Nikki's brother, Louis Cap, was one of the best guys on Wall Street you ever seen in your whole entire life, and he perished on 9-11. God bless him. He was my buddy for a long time. Nick, thanks for tuning in. Um, Adriana's actually tuned in. All right, so what do you two have? Um, Frank's not here. Frank did a couple segments. Did I make any mistakes today? I don't think I did. I actually think you were flawless today. I, I can't believe it. I mean, you you did not say anyone's right, name incorrectly. The ASMR. Well, actually, no. That's you said a no one's ever called me flawless. No one in life. I mean, I'm full of flaws. I'm a bucket of flaws. Anyhow, um, you you think I was flawless today, Nico? Jess, please uh, capture uh, inappropriately <laughs> pron pr pronouncing ASMR. You said AMSR, but I mean that, that I don't might know what be this the uh, Coca-Cola you're drinking. Let me tell you something. You guys know. When was the last time? Be honest. When was the last time you saw me drink rum on the show? Uh, when I filled your vodka bottle with water. And <coughs> no, I'm saying when do you? When did you ever see me drink rum? Never. I don't drink rum. It's not like, you know, it's what, once. Why the change? <clears throat> you know, I drank so many martinis yesterday that I can't even, I don't even want to look at this thing. I'm, I'm, hold, I'm letting it be here to remind me how horrible these things are, this martini glass, but I can't even drink martinis. And then I'm looking at, all right, bourbon. Oh, crap. If I drink bourbon right now, I might die. Ooh. Well, I have a little whiskey there. No. Lenny, my friend Lenny Ligotti, brought me over a bottle of Johnny Walker Blue. It's out in the cabana. Hey, Johnny Walker, oh my God, are you trying to kill yourself? You got to play in a tournament, golf tournament tomorrow. So I say, ooh, the, the old captain. Um, let's try him. And um, I actually think I got to drink a little spiced rum every Friday because it's spicing me up. No other mistakes. Nothing you want to talk about. I'm, I, you know, I'm giving them like a free out to crush me, and then Nico. Oh, Jess, what do you got? What do you got? <clears throat> yeah, what do you got, Jess? <clears throat> I'm, I don't know why, but I'm struggling to recall 
mistakes that you made today. I mean, I'm sure that it wasn't. Ah, I'm sure you made it. yeah, yeah, and yeah. Da 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 da. Green giant. Um, how about know. earlier when I was rapping? Was that a mistake? Is it a mistake for me to be citing '90s rap? Meet you look. I no, it, like a little nausea. Only you know the lyrics. I yeah. Well, I mean, you know what my slogan is in life. You guys know this, but <clears throat> I'm not a businessman. A hundred, but... I'm a business. I'm a business dot, 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 man. man. Yeah. Um, and I am a businessman. And businessmen know that if you whisper to your audience, it's very soothing to them. <laughs> yeah. See, I think your mistake today was giving ASMR a try. You do? Yeah. Because it's kind of creeping me out. This is probably, all right, well, you know, here, here we go. Here we go. Call, somebody called Jonathan Bell, famed uh, employment attorney. Jess said she's creeped out, so you know what that means. There's an HR complaint coming any minute now. <laughs> I am HR, so I don't know what <laughs> <laughs> um, Jennifer Cuevas said she didn't catch anything either. So maybe I was flawless. Maybe if I do the show on Captain Morgan. Well, Captain and Coke. <laughs> no, I'm saying maybe if I maybe if I do every day Captain Morgan and Coke, and split the show between John Tobacco and John Cronkite, um, maybe that's the way to get. You know, can someone share the stream in the last two minutes because we haven't broke thirty simultaneous viewers today? Although we're getting a thousand we're viewers. We're at twenty nine. I know. That's what I'm saying. I want somebody to share it for us to a few people. And let's. And I always talk about you know watching stocks and you want to close above all time highs on a Friday because then that marinates over the weekend and everything. Wow, they had a lot of viewers and then Monday more people tune in. Um, Help us break 30. I'm trying to do everything I can, including whisper into the microphone so that I can draw in some wacko audience All of a sudden, members. we're down three <laughs> <hours>. <laughs> All right, I'm not whispering anymore. Do not. If you ask me, it's 2 o'clock. We got 30 seconds left. I'm going to tell you this. If this market closes under the number 26,000, anything below that, Run for the hills. Do not put on any new positions before four. And if it looks like it's going to close that way, take the money and run. Keep your eye on Overstock.com. Coming into next week on a rocket shot. Data dog as well. D D O G from my friend uh, from my friend uh, Joey Hagen. And uh, thank you all for being there this whole week. You're the best. You're a pisser. And uh, we'll be back again Monday, uh, same bad time. Say bad channel.